So Kingdom Hearts, when it was announced that it was coming to the Nintendo Switch, people were so disappointed to find out that it was the cloud version. <laughs> to which I said, might as well get the Epic Game Store. You know, just buy it on Epic Game Store and you have it on your PC. You know? And, but now, now they're debating. Square Enix and Nintendo, they're debating, you know, whether they're going to have a true port or not. It says it's undecided. And uh, we're going to talk about the right now and why I think it may or may not happen. So let's go, guys. Let's get into it. Hello, guys. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell right there so that you can get notifications every time I upload a video. Okay? Enjoy. What is up, guys? This is your boy Andy Matrix. Welcome to. I changed the name of the show. <laughs> it's no longer Andy RTV. Now it's Andy Matrix TV. Andy Matrix, baby. All right. Anyways, I talk about anime. I talk about manga. I talk about video games. I talk about Japanese culture, geek culture. You name it. I talk about it. So I talk a lot about RPG games, mainly a lot of Square Enix games, Kingdom Hearts, Final Fantasy. That's that's my shit. You know, that's my shit right there. And sometimes God of War and other, and other cool RPG games uh, and other things related to anime. But anyways, <clears throat> it said during the recent Super Smash Bros. presentation which revealed Sora Final DLC, it was revealed that Sora series was headed to the Switch. What should have been an incredible announcement was somewhat damped. However, with the cash being the entire, the entire collect collection would only be available in a cloud version of form. Yeah, so it's like you can play Kingdom Hearts on the Nintendo Switch if you have Wi-Fi. <laughs> Which defeats the whole purpose because people want to play the game and take it with them. So when you're on the plane, when you're on the bus, when you're on the train, all that. You know, you always want you always want to, you know, uh, be able to play it on the go. That's the whole purpose of the Nintendo Switch. Is you know, that you have like a basically a PlayStation 3 in your hands. Right, it is safe to say that the reaction wasn't particularly great. We ran a poll right after, right here on Nintendo Live. So NintendoLive.com, they ran a poll, right? It says to see how many of you will be interested in picking up the cloud version at the time. Writing only nine percent. <laughs> nine percent of respondents were confident in a yes. The vast majority of respondents had no interest of at all, or would would prefer native ports of the game. Right, so people want to play the actual thing. That's that's the great thing about Nintendo, right? So we recently had the opportunity to ask Kingdom Hearts series producer uh, Ichiro Hasama the the burning question: Why why are these games only available as cloud versions? Right. Let's hear some answers. Right. To which he said, for some time, he said for some time, our director Tetsuya Nomura, okay, Nomura, of course he has something to do with this. He said, had expressed his desire to deliver the Great Kingdom Hearts series to Nintendo Switch because, I mean, of course, they had they had Final Fantasy 7, 8, and 9, and 10 on the Nintendo Switch. Of course, they're gonna try to bring you know other other Square titles that are really popular, right? It says, uh, him having seen and and heard the demand and so in in so a uh, so a great deal. They misspelled that. They saw a great deal of consideration went into the inter internally. Bringing these titles to the Nintendo Switch proved to be quite difficult for various reasons, including the storage capacity of the hardware. But we've ex we're very excited that we're able uh, to make it happen for the first time ever by utilizing the cloud version. Guys, guys, look, look. <sighs> these games, okay, these games. I could understand uh, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3, but Final F uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 and Kingdom Hearts 1, right? Those those games, they fit perfectly on the Nintendo Switch as a cartridge. As a matter of fact, you know, let's go do some research real quick. So, uh, Kingdom Hearts HD gigabyte size. Okay, so I actually found out something. I actually found out something. So, it looks like... I guess, I guess we were kind of wrong. 
I guess we were kind of wrong because it says here on GameIdealist.com that if you guys remember the PlayStation 4 version of Kingdom Hearts with the improved graphics. So Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5, you know, those two, those two games alone, those two games are actually 45 gigabytes of free, free space, right? So that's too much for the Nintendo Switch. But I guess if you if they were to if they were to separate the game, you know, you know, one cartridge each game, then I mean they, you know, it will be it will be good for the Nintendo Switch. But then, then again, who would want to buy it? Who would want to buy each game separately? You know, after playing it for so long, and I think that's one of the reasons why why they decided to go with the cloud version, right? So I guess it was a misunderstanding on the player's part, because you you gotta remember, you gotta remember, guys, you gotta remember is that. The hardware, the hardware for the Nintendo Switch is just is just not up to date. Okay, so while while we have while we have a Nintendo Switch that came out in 2017, you know, and it's really nice and it's great, and it can basically run PlayStation, you know, PlayStation 3 3 type of games. Uh, but the, the computing power is just not there apparently, and that's one of the reasons like why Kingdom Hearts 3 should be a cloud version for the Nintendo Switch. But I guess if they're gonna, if we're gonna have like the whole collection, the, the whole collection of part one and two, for the Nintendo Switch, it has too much data. I was not aware. I was really not aware that it had that much data. You also have to remember that these games have been remastered. So that means if the game was like four gigabytes before, now they're like 20 gigabytes. Because you know, they, with, with all the updates and all the extra stuff that you know that they add to it. You know it adds up and so it's 45 gigabytes for part one and two you know kingdom hearts one point you know 1.5 and 2.5 they always add these damn numbers right so it's just it's just not gonna fit it's just not gonna fit so i it, it almost seems impossible you know they're, they're really they are really going to downgrade they're gonna have to downgrade kingdom hearts for it to be able to for it to be able to be ported on the Switch, to have a cartridge for the Switch. And I think that's exactly what they did with The Witcher. With The Witcher, they kind of reduced the graphics a little bit. And they, uh, I don't want to say they shrink the world, but they did something with the map, you know, to kind of like shrink it up where they can put it into, you know, make it, a make it able to fit the Nintendo Switch, right? And that's exactly what they're going to have to do with Kingdom Hearts for it to go, for it to have a port and, uh, and until until we have a Nintendo Switch, the next generation of the Nintendo Switch, you know, with a stronger hardware, with more with a, with a with a more powerful processing card and graphics card, with a more with more RAM, okay? Because the Nintendo Switch uh, right now it only has four RAMs. We need at least eight, you know, we need at least twelve RAMs, twelve to sixteen RAMs, to run a game like like Kingdom Hearts like uh, Kingdom Hearts uh, 3. You know, I, I hate to say it, but you know, eight, four rams for this type of game is just not gonna do it. So that's one of the reasons this is gonna be really hard to port this game for the Nintendo Switch, you know? And that's why it's a cloud version. And I guess, <laughs> and I mean, if, if we really want to play this for the Nintendo Switch, we're just gonna have to wait on the, for, next, for the next generation. And I say, look, look, if if you're gonna if you're gonna play the cloud version of, of Kingdom Hearts, guess what? Just buy it on the Epic Store and that's it. <laughs> you know, it's just that the Switch is outdated. The Switch is outdated. Right now we are in we are in uh, we're in 2021, so the Switch is basically you know basically five years old for God's sakes. No, four years old. So it's it's not that old. Wow. But I mean, compared to the Nite compared to like all the other hardware, PlayStation 4, um, yeah, PlayStation 4, uh, you know, Xbox, you know, Xbox One, and now PlayStation 5, you know, Xbox Series X, it's like it doesn't compare. You, you can it, it it doesn't come even close, and that's why the uh, Valve Steam Deck is gonna beat the crap out of the Nintendo Switch, and apparently Apple. Is going to have its own handheld console device and I'm gonna talk about in the next video so all you Kingdom Hearts fans out there 
my recommendation is just buy it on the Epic Stories if you want to play the cloud version. You know, if you have a PC, if you have a, if you have a gaming laptop like me, that's what you're that's what you're gonna have to do, okay? Because otherwise, you're just gonna have to depend on Wi-Fi to play the to play Kingdom Hearts on your, on your Nintendo Switch, which, quite frankly, is a disappointment. What is up, everybody? Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can receive new future notifications. Check out the blog at ndrtv.com. Follow me on Twitter. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave your thoughts or anything you want to say right below this video in the comments below. This is Andy Matrix. Thank you for watching. Godspeed, everybody. Godspeed.